Hello and welcome to The Stores. I'm CJ and I'm from Sri Lanka. And The Stores is my workshop where I work on classic cars. And this series of videos will be about this 1952 Cadillac convertible. Bear with me on this video. It will be mostly photographs because when this car came to me, I didn't think it needed much work at all. So I didn't make videos at the beginning. This car came to me straight from the workshop where it was restored, but it came to me on a truck like this. Why? Because the car didn't have brakes. The pedal went all the way to the floor and did nothing to stop the car. The panel around the pedal, which you had to remove to get to the brake master cylinder was completely sealed off. We had to cut out the insulation to remove the panel and when we did and we opened the brake master cylinder there was no brake fluid in it at all it was completely empty so we removed all the wheels and had a look at the brake lines we found some leaks we fixed the leaks and fixed the brakes but then we found what we thought was a hose leaking from the radiator it actually turned out to be the water pump itself at that point when we removed the pump it was very clear that this could not be repaired so i had to stop and order some stuff from usa to sri lanka so i ordered some extra stuff as well that's a brand new water pump and a used water neck this is an improved pump, better cooling. I also found a new old stock carburetor, exactly correct for this car. I got that as the old carburetor was in a bad way. Um, the engine was very dirty and didn't look nice at all. So we started cleaning it, taking all the grime and dirt off it, high pressure water. The radiator had just water not coolant so we flushed out the engine under pressure and you can see a lot of rusty water coming out of the block that's as clean as it got not looking too good i knew it had to be painted in the future so i painted the water pump just black I used a new thermostat because i knew i was going to paint it the correct color later i just painted it black for now um i also got a used distributor which I stripped and rebuilt um, and also included a new electronic ignition system which does away with the old point system. With all of this fitted we really hoped that the car would the engine would run good but as you can see in this clip it really did not run good at all it had a loud ticking noise too as you can hear in this clip We looked at the plugs and they were really bad. There was a bad misfire. At first we thought the ticking noise must be from the lifters, but it wasn't. We removed the intake and the valley pan and had a look. The lifters were okay. So the cylinder heads had to come off and that's when things really started going bad. If you notice the piston out of the eight, seven were like that. One was like this. One piston was different. The cylinder head was really bad, a lot of carbon build up, uh, as you can see on the valves as well. The valves were not seating at all. You can see the springs, they were fitted badly by whoever did it before. Two of them were like that, the first and the third in that picture. So boom, the engine had to come out. And when we investigated, we found that seven pistons were alike 
and the one that was different was a larger bore size and also did not come right to the top the cylinder of that different piston was badly corroded um, that's the bottom end it had a lot of sludge in the sump and in the oil pump so the engine had to have a complete rebuild so that's where we stop with this video for now and we'll meet you again in the next video where we start on rebuilding the engine thanks for watching like and subscribe please thank you